Hey guys, so I'm filming in a different area today just because I wanted better lighting. Um, and yeah, so yesterday I did that like text format video and I was, it was um, just asking you what kind of videos you wanted and I told you I went to New York City yesterday and um, if you guys wanted a haul and you guys all said yeah and I just want to tell you that um, New York City is probably like my favorite place in the whole entire world. Um, you know, I just know I'm going to live there. Like it's one of the things that I'm sure about. I know I want to live there. Um, and yeah, I just love it. Um, yeah, so I'm sitting in front of my window. I hope the lighting's better um, than it normally is. Kind of just because I wanted to show you like the true colors of the stuff I bought. So pretty much I was only there for a day, um, less than a day actually. We kind of went for my birthday. My birthday was in February, but really more than anything, I just wanted to go to New York to go shopping. And um, yeah, so we took a coach bus because it's really expensive to park, you know, and this was just like easier. And um, yeah, so we had to get back at a certain time. And oh my gosh, the coach bus broke down on the way back home. And I didn't get home until 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> um, anyways, I'll get right into the haul. I just want to tell you guys that I did not buy all this stuff myself. My mom did buy a lot for me. I don't want you to think, oh my god, she's so spoiled because this was technically for my birthday. So I did buy a few things, but you know, I'm really grateful for what my mom got for me and I'm really grateful for, you know, what I have. So I don't want you guys to like totally think I'm a spoiled brat, you know, but if you don't want to watch this or you plan on leaving like mean comments, you can just X out because, um, yeah, I'm not going to lie, I didn't buy all this stuff with my own money. Um, so I guess I'll start off with Forever 21. Um, I went to the one in Times Square, of course. Um, you know, I wasn't that impressed with it personally, like, I don't know, I thought it was going to be great, but I got lost so many times, and I don't know, it was just the people that were, like, really mean, like, the people working in the dressing room, oh, they were, like, really mean, but anyways, I only got three things, which is kind of weird, because it's my favorite store, you know? Okay, so the first thing I got was just this sweatshirt, I really don't know what drew me to this sweatshirt, like, I was just, like, I love baggy sweatshirts like this, and this just totally made me really excited, um... <laughs> I guess I really like, this kind of reminds me of like a boyfriend sweater and it's just really big and cute and it has like stripes all over it. I'll try to like sit up or whatever. And it's just big, it has stripes all over it. And it has like the little triangle thing right there, I don't know if you can see it. But I thought this would look really really cute if I like rolled up the sleeves because they have like this, like this in the inside. I don't know, it's still like striped and everything. I thought it would be really cute and it's so comfortable. I, don't, I, just, I got it in a medium. Well, first of all, it's like all they had and I like them big anyway. So this was only $14.80. This is one of the favorite, most favorite things I got. Um, I explained to you before that I bought a tunic at Forever 21 as a dress because I'm so short. I'm only five foot one. So they're tunics or dresses and I'm really been into tribal print. So I saw this and I like freaked out. So it looks like this. It's like this tribally print. It says it's a tunic, but on me it's dress, you know? Um, okay. So I'll try to like sit back here. This is what it looks like. It kind of like cinches in the waist right here. And yeah, like it's simple, but I'm totally in love with it. And sorry, I'm not looking at my camera. I'm looking at like the mirror behind my this. But oh my God, I, I saw this and I just had to get it. So what I was thinking is if I got like a red belt and I put it around the waist here, that would look totally amazing because like red with black and white would just be like, I don't know. But this was only $15.80. And then lastly, I got an accessory. Um, okay, this was only $1.50 and it kind of just spoke to me. Um, okay, it's this heart ring and it has like this really light pink it's like this really light pink color which I, I love hearts and I love light pink so it's just kind of like you know I had to get it um yeah I don't know if you can really tell but it's light pink and then it has like these just like silver bumps around it I have um, earrings like this I kind of wore I wore them the other day they look like this only they're black in the middle and yeah so this would match those this is only a dollar fifty I don't know if I already said that but yeah why not I really liked it um next I went to MAC, my bag's like really scrunched up because I had to like stuff everything in my purse, but yeah, I went to MAC and I got four eyeshadows and I got them in like a little, little quad thingy. Um, I'll go through the colors. The lady was really nice and she helped me like pick some out. Okay, so 
so pretty much i really well this is like really weird okay i really wanted all the glitters so i got all the glitters which is right there um i needed a nice highlight that is um vapor right there it's vapor okay maybe it'd be better if i did this no i don't even know um vapor then i got satin taupe which is right there you guys have probably all seen these these are pretty popular colors I mean, I don't know about Vapor and then the last one, but um, all the glitters in Satin Taupe, which are right there, are just really popular. And then, lastly, I got Trax, which Trax is purple, but it has tons of gold shimmer. It's, like, the prettiest thing ever. So, this would be really good. I'm going to California this summer, so I really wanted um, just, like, a quad that I could bring instead of bringing, like, four eyeshadows and just, like, shoving them everywhere. This is something good because these are, like, everyday colors. I guess I'll do H&M next. I didn't get anything for me. I actually bought a birthday present for my friend Maddie. So Maddie, if you're watching this, turn this off because, or just like, I don't know, skip for like, I don't know, turn it off or just don't watch this because I don't want you to see this, but I still wanted to like show it in my haul. And if you guys don't know who Maddie is, she's like my best friend and I've done blog TVs with her. So if you've watched my blog TVs, you've seen her. And yeah, so her birthday is April 22nd. So say happy birthday to her. And this just really reminded me of her. Um, yeah, I don't know. She really likes stuff like this, so I hope she likes it. It's like this tank top, and it has, like, a bunch of different prints on it. If you can see this. And it has, like, all these different prints, and then it has, like, a razor back with, like, straps are all braided. And... Yeah, so uh, this really reminded me of her, and I was looking for something to get her anyways, um, so I got this. I'll show you the pattern one more time. Yeah, so I hope she likes this, I don't know. And then, earlier, we were talking one time, and she was talking about how she wanted, like, a thick black headband, so they had these there, so I just got her a thick black headband, you know. So that's what I got, Maddie. Um, okay. Okay, and then I went to Soho, which, um, Soho, look, I didn't have, like, any time in, um, New York, really. It was pouring. It was seriously like a hurricane. If any of you were there, oh my god, it was horrible. I had an umbrella, and it totally flipped inside out, and, like, all the metal parts, like, snapped, and it broke. It was so windy, and it was pouring, and, oh my god, it was so bad. But I'm probably gonna go this summer and kind of spend more time in Soho, because I loved all the little boutiques there. And I went to this one, and it was called Brandy Heart Melville. You can see that. And it really reminded me of Urban Outfitters. Like, just the kind of stuff they had. I got this tank top. It wasn't too expensive there, but it wasn't, like, cheap, you know? And, because this tank top was $24, which is kind of a lot for a tank top. Not really, but kind of. And this is inside out. I don't know why. But this is kind of an interesting tank top. Like, different than I would normally get. I don't think I can wear this to school. But, anyways, it looks like this. And it's pretty much a cropped tank top but the sides are like long yeah you'll you'll see like oops looks like that and this part it gets high and it like shows my belly button which kind of seems like weird but it's actually really really cute um yeah i don't know but anyways looks like this and the pattern is just really pretty it's black and then it has all these like flowers on it they look like they're like painted you know looks like that And yeah, it really just reminded me of Urban Outfitters. Um, okay, my camera randomly cut off there. I don't know why. But yeah, so I got this tank top for $24. And yeah, I thought it was really different. And it was just really cute. So um, if you're in Soho, I really recommend this store. Um, Brandy and Melville. Um, it's, it's really, really cute. And stuff was just, everything was really soft. I don't know how to describe it, but it was, it was crazy. So... And their bags are really cute. They're just little brown paper bags with their little name stapled on them. I don't know. I thought they were cute. So I went there. Okay, and then I went to two more places in Soho. Um, um, this one was Mystique, I think. Mystique. Yeah, Mystique. I, I don't know. Um, I got a t-shirt there. It was on sale um, for $10, so I got it. And then I went to the register and it was only seven, so I don't know. But it really, it reminded me of me once again, the whole lace thing. Um, okay. 
so it looks like this it's just like a plain v-neck with like a pocket and then it has the sleeves are like half lace as you can tell so it looks really cute and then from the back it's like exposed lace for a while I'll like put my hand up to it so you can see the laciness um yeah so it's baggy but it is extremely soft like i don't know how, why it is so soft i wonder what it's made out of because it doesn't feel like a regular shirt but i can even find like a tag in here i don't know oh wait here it is uh 96% Raylon or Rayon and 4% spandex. That makes sense because it is extremely, extremely soft. And this just, I thought this would look really cute with like a high waisted, I have my high waisted black shorts. So I think that would look cute. And I don't know, I just loved this top. Yeah, so I got that from Mystique. And it looks like they have a website. So www.mystique547.com. Okay, then these things are probably my favorite clothing items I got. Um, I tried this stuff on and I actually took a picture, so I'll probably put it after I show you guys what it is. Okay, so I tried this stuff on. I didn't mean for it to go together, but I kind of think it did. I'll just show you the belt first. So you know how earlier I was talking about how if I had a red belt, I'd cinch the black and white dress from Forever 21's waist? So I got this um, red belt and it's just like, it's real leather and it's just shiny and red and amazing. This is actually meant for like, you know where your pants are so I'm gonna have to punch an extra hole to make it a waist belt but I just thought this was really cute and it's only seven dollars all these places were pretty cheap so yeah just a nice red belt I think everyone should have one of these okay and then these two things are probably some of the favorite things I got okay um I didn't didn't button this up so bear with me this is just like a button up top but it's extremely soft. Like, all this stuff was really, really soft and, like, nice quality. Um, I don't know. Oh, this place was called Necessary Clothing. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm, I'm not going to button it because I really just don't feel like it. But it is this black and white striped button-up top. And it's, it's loose. It's not, like, tight on you. But it's just, it's like, I don't know, I really liked it, and yeah, it smells good. The, the store smelled like heaven. I don't even know. It was amazing, but um, yeah, I'm not buttoning it all the way. But as you can see, it's like really, really, really soft. It's not, it's like stretchy. I don't know. I'm going to check the material on this too. <laughs> okay. Um, rayon polyester spandex see all this stuff is like the same stuff and it's really really soft so my mom actually like wanted this which was really disturbing because I cannot see my mom wearing something like this like I, oh god thank god she didn't get it I think she would have gotten one if it wasn't like crazy stripes because she just wanted it because it was like really comfy feeling um, like maybe if it was a solid color but yeah I don't know this was only $20 which I thought was really good for what it is Okay, and then what I tried it on with was this skirt, and I've been wanting, like, a floral pencil skirt for a long time, and I, like, love this one. So, it has this really pretty floral pattern on it, and it's a pencil skirt. So, um, I, I tried it on with this shirt, and normally, like, you would think, ew, what the heck are you doing? It actually looked good. Like, I came out of the dressing room, and everyone was like, and I don't know, it looked, it looked really good, um. Yeah, I'll put a picture, like, when I'm done showing you this stuff. Because I took a picture in the dressing room. I know, weird, but... Anyways. It's so cute. And this was only $14. So, yeah, um, really inexpensive and really nice quality and prettiness. And, yeah, so that's what I got from Necessary Clothing. They have one, two in Soho. 442 Broadway and 443 Broadway. I don't know if that's two different stores. Don't quote me, but <laughs> yeah, so if you go there, I would definitely go to the store because it was really cool and it was really inexpensive, so I really liked it there. 
Okay, um, before I forget, I got this scarf, um, because I didn't bring a scarf, and this was just from a street vendor, it's kind of like imitation Burberry, I wish it was real Burberry, but I'm not gonna spend $300 on a scarf. <laughs> um, yeah, this was only $5, so, you know, why not? And it's like soft, it's like cashmere, at least that's what the lady told me, so, I don't know, but I got this scarf, and I really like it, and, yeah, so, I got that. And then lastly... Like, I feel like this is a lot of stuff for me, but it's not really a lot of stuff. Like, I don't know. But this was my, my big, my big gift of the, of the trip. Okay, so basically, I am obsessed with Sperry's. And I have this thing where I really, really want to start a trend. <laughs> um, I don't know, because I, like, I didn't even go into Hollister and anything. Like, everyone in my school is, like, obsessed with Hollister, and that's, like, all they wear. But really, I don't like it anymore. It's just too, like, overdone, and I don't like dressing like everyone else, you know? So these are something that, like, only I've seen two other people in my school have, and one of them is one of my good friends, because we both like them. And these are Sperry's. Um, you guys may or may not know what these are. Um, I learned about them from Beauty XX Goddess, so thank you to her, because these things are my new love. And my mom thinks these are hideous, so I'm surprised she got them for me. <laughs> because she absolutely despises these things. Um, yeah, so basically me and my friend Liz, we really like these and we got them. And then this one other girl at my school, I saw I had something that looked like them. And they're coming in style now, which I'm kind of disappointed about because I like having things that people don't have. But um, yeah, so I kind of just wanted to like wear something that no one had. And these are Sperry's. They look like these little boat shoes. And these were like $80, so they're pretty expensive. So like. I mean, unless you love them, I wouldn't get them <laughs> because they are kind of pricey. They look like this. I got them in the navy, and they're actual real leather, and they're extremely comfortable. So they look like, you know, your dad's slippers, like something your dad would wear, but they're not. And I got these from David Z's, by the way. David Z's. Um, they have a lot of cute shoes there. So anyways, they look like this. And they're just really preppy looking, like... Ah, I love them. Okay, and is it just me, or would they look extremely amazing with, oops, with this sweatshirt I got? Like, I got this before I got the Sperry's, and I think that would look pretty great. Like, I would look so preppy, like, if I roll up these sleeves and then, like, cuffed my jeans and wore my Sperry's, yeah. I don't know, that's, I think that's pretty amazingness, but, um, these things are, like, so comfortable it's crazy um yeah i don't know i'm so happy i got these um i wouldn't recommend ordering these like online or anything because i'm normally a seven seven and a half and i had to get these in a six and a half six and a half you can't really tell but yeah i'm really happy that i got these fairies because i wanted some for a really long time and that's what i got <laughs> i probably would have gotten a lot more if i could have been in new york longer I didn't even go to Urban Outfitters. I didn't go to a ton of places that I wanted to go to, pretty much because it was so disgusting out and because we didn't have a lot of time. We only had like eight hours in the city, which might seem like a lot, but we took subways places, so um, that took up a lot of our time because we totally got lost, then didn't get off on the stop we were supposed to get off on. And yeah, that, that took a while. Um, <laughs> but I'm probably gonna go this summer. We might spend the night. My mom kind of just wanted to like get her bearings in the city or whatever, um, just to make sure she knew her way around. So I might be going this summer, maybe I'll do a meetup, maybe. But I know I'm going to California this summer too, so maybe I'll do a meetup there. I don't know. Do any of you guys live in New York City or California? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, my camera keeps cutting me off and it's really making me mad. <laughs> but this is what I got. Not a ton, but it's good for me. I'm so happy I got a ton of stuff I wanted. So, yeah, um, tell me what you guys think of this stuff. Um, I hope you guys like this video. I love doing hauls. I think it's fun. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys don't think I'm, like, bragging or anything, but... Yeah, so if you have any questions about New York, um, the stores I went to, or, you know, just want to talk, feel free to message me or comment or whatever, um, because I'll reply. So, yeah, um, once again, I hope you guys like this, um, and I hope the lighting's okay. Yeah, so, that's what I got, and I don't know how to end this video, so it's really, really awkward, but it's gonna be really long, and I'm sorry, but, yeah, so, bye guys.